we are moving from this location. Hey guys, check it out. The guys are sanding the last piece and then boom, spin it to paint and we're gonna be done. Check it out. This used to be filled with our things and now it is completely empty. But before we can call it a day, we have one more thing we have to do next. You want to guess what it is? We're getting out of here. All right. I know I left it off last time with me getting in this box and saying we're getting out of here because that's exactly what we're doing. This is Luke. And I'm Lori. And we're in the middle of a boat restoration project that's gone completely off the rails. But you can get us back on track and get this boat back into the water and around the world. Just subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey and insanity alive. This company that we are at, they are actually relocating to another city and we can't stay here anymore because it's going to be empty here. We need to find out what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and how we're going to continue this project because staying here is no longer an option. We've spent the last couple weeks painting absolutely everything, but we're not necessarily done with every single piece in our boat. We just had a very short amount of time in order to pack everything up and go. And unfortunately, we don't even have time to put it back in the boat. Plus, there's a lot of different things we have to do before we even install it, like electrical and plumbing, which we already started the framework for, but we are not done yet. And there are a few things and elements in the build, the interior build, that we still need to tackle as well. The majority of stuff has been painted and is ready to be installed by Sergio. Uh, but yeah, it's going to have to be at a different location. Not looking forward to it, but let's get packing. To get this party started, we're cutting up scrap wood for making shelves in these boxes that we were really lucky were not being used. It is really important for us to maximize the space top to bottom to keep our items safe and secure. I'm wrapping up everything now. We're putting everything out of the box. I do not recommend this. I don't really know how we're gonna pack all these items and keep them safe without being scratched or ding and destroy all of the hard work that we just did, but that is the goal here. So stressed out. I'm so stressed out. Last time Luke and I moved apartments, we waited to the last minute to pack everything up and it was chaos and mayhem and nobody was a happy camper. Now, imagine doing that while everything is being ripped apart around you, while you're in the middle of a project that's not even done yet. Ripping it down as we speak. And that is just a small glimpse of what this was feeling like.
update for now is I've got most of these things packed in here and organized into our two boxes. I've got a few large things left and a lot of like thinner things that I'm gonna put in here. Now I think the windows I'm gonna wrap up and put in this top shelf and then anything large I'm gonna put in the middle. But I can't tell you how stressed I feel with all this banging and yeah. I'm not even sure if we're gonna have lights in like the next half hour or so. This chaotic moment is when they started disassembling the lights while we were still painting. We had already indicated that we had several more things to do and we were given till the next day. They actually were supposed to start removing the electrical work tomorrow, but unfortunately they just start ripping it out while we were still working on the art pieces and we were afforded just this little light bulb. So unfortunately we had to continue working in the dark. Absolutely wrecked right now. I'm going to the supermarket to get a little bit of food because we're still wrapping up. Uh, it's Friday now and we're still going. So. When it finally sank in that we were moving again and we didn't have much time left, we immediately thought of going back to Plinio's shipyard. We had such a great experience there. Everyone was so helpful. We had really all the resources we needed and a big open space with lots of fresh air to work in. On top of that, we already knew we had a structure there waiting for us that we had spent so much time building, or at least that's what we thought. If you've been following us, you know that we took forever to put together this wood arc structure in order to cover our boat. And just as we finished it, we were called over to the company in order to do our interior. So our success was very short lived and we hardly got any use out of this structure. So it should be super easy to just head over there and pick up where we last left off, right? We are here at the old shipyard, remember where we built the structure before, and it is, let's say, one year and two months later. And this is the condition that it is in now. We left this, was basically abandoned here, and they had some really strong winds, like a cyclone in the area and it leaned over and this has been unprotected without a cover in the elements and this is the condition that it's looking like now and now we have to move back here and fix this up basically in like a couple of days and I'm not even sure what to do. Uh, some of it I think is fixable that we just pull it back up. Our biggest mistake is we didn't put some triangles but our really biggest mistake was that we only predicted to use the structure for around four to six months. It was really only built for that. It was not supposed to be something that lasts forever. And it certainly isn't something that's gonna last forever at all. So we gotta figure out how to fix this thing up. A little disappointed to see it this way. A little disappointed to be coming back this much time later. I, if we had known, obviously we would have taken better care of this. We thought, we thought we were moving on to the next step, but let's see now. We're looking at our possibilities right now of what we're gonna do. And we had an idea, we're gonna see if it's possible but we're looking at these containers that they have here. Now, none of these containers are available for us to use anymore. However, if they're just gonna sit here, perhaps the owners could put them to here, to here, and then we put a little bridge across the top, a little roof across the top, and we put our boat here in the middle. And that would be an amazing structure for our boat instead of Look how much from the side now, you can really see how much it collapsed. Uh, we're gonna try to ask to see if that is a possibility. That means we're not using the containers, 
were just taking advantage of their positions. There's some more over here. This green one we could rent if we wanted to, uh, but we're trying to save some money. There's these two here, and I believe I see another one all the way back there. Maybe they have something available that we can do that. While we've been away, they've been constructing this ramp and improving it. They're actually putting down all these like paper steps and they have made this cement ramp all the way into the water. And now that we're coming back here, this is where we plan on splashing. Someday. Yesterday we had a discussion on the phone with the shipyard owner about our idea with the containers. And they said, yeah, I think maybe it's possible. Why don't you come here and check it out? Um, we'll talk about it together when you get here. And when we arrived, they had ripped our structure down already. So we're going to look into what happened, uh, why, and what's going on now. What happened? Uh, the structure is not Okay. Anderson told us <laughs> that when he got here, he tried to straighten out the structure for us, and it just collapsed. We're so sad that we didn't. We weren't here to see what exactly happened, but I guess I guess it was just held together by hope and dreams. That's what one year of wood exposed and not treated looks like, huh? I'm not even sure I have like a, an emotional reaction to this at this point. I think I was a little upset yesterday uh, or the day before when we saw it for the first time. Losing our structure was a big blow and now we only have days left to pick up the pieces and figure out what's our next move.